that you did? I just thought I might uh, warn you and inform you about some of the downsides of Lego. So, number one, stickers. The stickers, you can see I've got one there. I'm not sure I've got any others on this model. But the stickers are, um, some of them are quite big. And strange shapes. Like the, uh, the adverts on this motorbike. Um, and when you peel them off, you get residue. Uh, it takes a lot of scratching to get this residue off, but some of it can get really bad. I'm just going to find you something with some bad residue. Here's one. So, you can see, you look at this, it's got terrible residue on it, and I've tried to scratch it off, but it hasn't worked very well, because it, it's still sticky now, and that's about three years old, that residue. And then if, you, if they're really big ones, you get a lot of residue. Two, scratching. I've got my phone light on this brick, or this panel. If I move it around, you can see all the tiny scratches on it. And it, and if you um, if you turn the light off, which I can't because this is an iPhone, and I can't without ending the video. If you Turn the light off, you can see the you can see the scratch from then. But it's not working very well. But I can see the scratches with my own eyes without the light on. This is a problem because if you're building for a show and you take an enormous model in and you're really pleased and then you and then you uh, and it's got massive scratches all over it that's really bad because say you've come from a hundred miles away or something You've been driving for ages, you've been stuck in queues, you're really relieved to get there, and then you realise that it's got massive scratches on it and you can't go back and fix it in time for the show to start. Three, bendy pieces. So I've got a nice little sports car here. But it doesn't roll very well. It's because these pieces are bent where my thumb is. They're bent, which means they, they're bent upwards towards the top of the wheel arches. So the wheels then touch the top and stop the car from being able to drive properly because obviously the tyres are rubber so there's too much friction and then of course you've got other pieces I'll go and get an example Mm, 
struggling to find one at the moment. There's one really badly bent blue piece which you can see all the white marks on it and everything. It's terrible. And uh, yeah. So bendy piece is terrible. Or marks. These have been on a vehicle quite a while now. And I don't know what causes it, but you have, you get lots of white dust here. And brand new, oh, it's, it's a bad one. A brand new, and they were just, got this horrible white dust which is hard to clean off. on them as soon as I took the wheels off off the truck which is quite annoying because if I'm I'm doing this video so I'm on YouTube obviously so if I'm doing a video and then it's step by step and I take one of th and I take one of these pieces and if I've got white dust all over it, it doesn't look very good. So that's um that's really bad about markings. This one just like tape residue come a long way to uh build something in front of people and uh you realise you've got marked pieces. Badly formed pieces. I got this piece when I was building a Lego Technic model. It's meant to be bendy, but now it's not so good at that because I've. In the model, it was supposed to be bent. That's that's why they used this piece. It was meant to be bent that way. But all the time I had it in the model, it was just bending until eventually when I took it out, it's just this bendy and it stays bent. And then if I put it in the model, and I, if I put it in a model, 